Hello, lovelies. How are you today? I hope you enjoy my next tutorial. I am in a different setup. This is my temporary setup for the next couple of months. So as a result, I won't be able to do any tutorials with any physical products. So what I will be bringing to you are things that can be done on the computer. So I hope you enjoy the next tutorial. Bye-bye. Hello, lovelies. In this week's tutorial, I'll be working in Silhouette Studio. So let me share my screen and we can get started. I'm going to do a similar tutorial as I did in Cricut Design Space last week. Um, we're going to do an offset of an alphabet and then we're going to subtract it. Subtracting in Silhouette Studio is the same as slicing in Cricut Design Space. So let's get started. So I clicked on the A that's on the left toolbar, which is your text tool. And I'm going to type a D and then I'm going to click off of it. Then I'm going to click back on it and make it bigger. So I need a thick font. So I'm going to come up here to the font tool, which is straight up top. And I'm going to turn this into, let's go freshman. That's nice, thick, and chunky. So I wanted a little more bigger. Okay. So I'm going to color this red. And then over on the right-hand side of the toolbar is the, it looks like a star. It's the uh, offset panel. So I'm going to do an offset and... The distance I'm going to make it is 200. I'm going to press enter, then apply. Okay. Then I'm going to do a, another offset of the offset, and I'm going to put that at 250. Enter, then apply. All righty, I'm going to move my first alphabet out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. All righty, the last offset, I'm going to change the color to green. And then the inside, the first offset, I'm going to change that to black. Okay, and there you have it. Right now. If you want, you can leave it like that. So I'm going to highlight all three right click on it and duplicate it and move that to the side, okay? That is an option right there. In that, you would have to layer your vinyl if you're using vinyl or just sublimate it. Okay, so this version, I'm gonna move the initial D out the way and I'm gonna highlight the two offsets and I'm gonna open up my Modify panel, and I'm going to say subtract. And like I said, the subtract in Silhouette Studio is the same as slicing in Cricut Design Space. And then you put your original D there, and that is if you want that spacing around in between the initial alphabet and your offset. Now, if you want it to, in between that space right there, you can put rhinestones around there, but we're not covering that today. But anywho, so these are your two versions of what you can do. Now we can take it a step further. Let me move this on this side. We're gonna go back to the text tool, which is the A on the left-hand side of the toolbar, and we're gonna type Diva. Okay, and we're going to open up the font panel, which is on the right-hand side, and we're gonna do decrease the line spacing. And that will bring our letters in closer. Okay, I like that. Alrighty, we're gonna change the font 
to impact because I want something thicker. Okay, I'm gonna ungroup it because I don't like the way the I is to the left as opposed to where the other letters look centered. So I'm gonna right click on the word and click on ungroup. And then I'm gonna take the I and manually move it over some to where it looks centered. And then when everything looks good, I'm gonna highlight everything, right click on it and group it back together. Okay. And then I'm gonna, let me change the color cause I can't see the red on top of the red. I'm gonna turn it to green. So I clicked on the, uh, the paint panel and that will change the inside color. And then beneath that is the, the line color. And I'll click on that and it remembers the last color you selected will be on the left-hand side of the, the palettes. I click on that now, the entire uh, word is one color. All righty. All righty, that's a little bit too big. That's still too big. Okay, that's good. Now let me widen it. Okay, I like that. Let me right click on it and duplicate it. Move that one out the way. Alrighty, I'm gonna highlight it. Come over to the modify panel, which is on your right hand side. And I'm gonna subtract. Oop. Let me move my uh, offset out the way. Highlight it again and subtract. Just like within Cricut, you can only deal with two objects. There we go. Just like with Cricut, when you slice it, you can only have two objects highlighted. And as you saw, I had one, two, three objects. Okay, so I had to move that other stuff out the way. And as you see, uh, the little the part in the center of the D and the A, they are separate parts. So to keep them together, I'll click on it and group it together. That way they'll stay together. And I'll just move my stuff back into place. Highlight it. Let me come up to the top of the toolbar, click on align and center it. And then bring back that inner piece. And there you have that. Alrighty, let me move this over here so I won't run into that same problem again with it not wanting to subtract. Get that centered as best as I can. Highlight that. Or I could have just made a duplicate of the other D with Diva in it. Alrighty, right click on it. Group it together. Let me close out my modify panel. Bring this back over. And let me group all that together so that when I move it up, nothing won't shift. And the same with this. Highlight it, group it together, and there you have it. You have your two different styles that you can do. And you can do the same style in Cricut Design Space. Alrighty, so that will conclude our tutorial for this week. I will stop sharing my screen and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.